Rehabilitation technologies are evolving fast, from smart wearables to assistive robotics and beyond. I'm catching up with one of the field's top experts, Dr. Arun Jaraman, to find out what's emerging in this exciting space. Let's go. Hello. Good morning, how are you? I'm good, I'm happy to be here with you. Oh, thanks for having me. I'm really excited to understand from your perspective, what's the biggest trend right now in rehabilitation? The biggest trend right now, I think, is the combination of technologies. Yeah. If you walk through the booths here, you would notice that mm -hmm. there's a lot of brain-computer interface, wearables, yeah. and robotics. So they're all kind of merging. That's the biggest trend right now. That's the biggest trend you're seeing. And then also, from your perspective, these wearables and sensors, how are they actually changing the way we approach rehabilitation? I mean, uh, your smartphone is like a variable sensor okay, there's yeah. and it can have about 60 sensor probes in it and we're constantly engaging with it right mm -hmm. so that's how all these variables are in healthcare we're constantly engaging with people and are giving them information about their health and well-being so it already exists it already exists and one other thing that mm -hmm. i know already exists is exoskeletons yeah tell me what that is and how that can make some change also in rehab yeah, so exoskeletons or wearable robots are changing how we can now treat people with complex injuries. Or let's say you had a stroke, but you want to go back running. Yeah. You might not be ready for it, but a wearable robot strapped on, a lightweight one, can mm -hmm. get you run faster. So things like that. So getting back in it faster. Recovery is getting faster and early mobility or early use of your limbs is what is happening, which in the past would take a long time. So what are some of the challenges if you are to translate all of these advanced technologies into real world rehab settings? I think the big challenge is government policy. Uh, a lot of each country has their own regulations and policy mm -hmm. control and then investments, right? Uh, you need the right group of people at a very early stage to invest. That'll help a lot of this translate from science to clinical practice. All right. If we talk about something that's not challenges, but that's excitement, what are you most excited about if we're looking like five to 10 years ahead? I think the most exciting thing is soon you're gonna see a brain computer interface system with wearables and robotics all merge. So if you notice there are places here which say cyborg technology, yeah. but in a way I see in the future, a lot of hard complex disabilities will be solved with these technologies. So that's something we're excited for. Oh, totally excited. Thank you so much for it's a taking the time. Thank to you meet for having me today. this morning. Thanks for watching, but now an important disclaimer. The content of this video is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Viewers should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice for any medical condition they may have and should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions.